I'm really excited to share that today Harbor version 2.0 has been released along with amazing features such as OCI registry compliance. It included a Trivi as a pre-installed vulnerability scanner. So I'm going to demonstrate how to install the latest version of Harbor and configure it with the, with the Trivi. As always, you could download the installation artifacts from the GitHub release page. I have already done that. So we could just extract the archive, which creates a hardware directory, and modify the default hardware configuration template. So I'm going to change the host name to hardware.domain. Then I'm going to comment out the HTTPS settings, which is not relevant for this demo. And then I also need to change the default paths where Harbor stores its data. So I'm going to change it to my home directory. And the same for logs. Once we save that, we could rename the template file to harbor.yaml and we are ready to launch the installer script. As you might know, uh, the installer script accepts some flags to install Claire or to install Notary. With 2.0, we introduced with Trivi flag, which allows you to pre-install Trivi. If you launch the installer script, you will see that uh, there is a new service created, which is called Trivi Adapter. And this is the one that in the previous releases you had to install manually. Now we do it for you. Uh, one more thing to note is that in my environment, I had to add an entry to the etc host file to point to the hardware domain. I also have an image that we are going to scan. I just need to push it to the registry. Now we could go to hardware interface, which is accessible at hardware.domain because of the etc, etc host config. I could log in with the default credentials if we go to the under the interrogation services, you will notice a Trivi, which is a pre-installed which is a pre-installed scanner uh, adapter, which is also designated as the default one. Um, now, if we go to the projects and the library and we select the uh, repository that I have just pushed, uh, we could select the tag and click scan. In a few seconds, we will see the vulnerability report. Uh, usually, the first run is a bit takes a bit more time because Trivi downloads the vulnerability database from a GitHub release page, but the subsequent scans are much faster. As you can see, it found 73 vulnerabilities. To see the list of the vulnerable packages, uh, we could go to the artifact details, and under the additions section, there is a vulnerability type. As in the previous releases, we display the details and we display the links to the upstream vulnerability databases. With that, you could see how easy it is now to install Trivia and to use it and scan all the images. I hope you enjoy it and make sure that you try out Harbor 2.0 and let us know how it works. Thank you.